This video is a continuation of my previous video, DIY Variable Linear Voltage Power Supply. If you haven't watched it yet, I recommend you watch it first as a lot of things are related. So without further delay, let's jump right into it. For building the enclosure, I use this pitch plywood with a thickness of 5mm. After that, I mark the respective part size and cut it out with the hacksaw. Once the cut were done, they were sanded using a sanding block due to the imperfection. For your convenience, I mark the dimension of the wooden cutout. Starting with the top, the inclined plane, side covers, back and finally the base. Now with the help of wood glue, I use it to join the sides of the enclosure and continue joining the rest of the sides. After the glue is dry, the enclosure looks somewhat like this. Well, apart from the fact with no front face yet, you can temporarily place the face to get an idea. Then I mark the respective holes for the two banana plugs, one LED and a controlling switch which is then drilled out. I then immediately fix the plugs, the LED and the switch on board. Then I measure the dimension of my voltmeter which is to be fit on the inclined surface. Then I suddenly realize that I made a very stupid mistake. I forgot to make a mark for the potentiometer so I placed it beside the marking of the voltmeter. I clearly admit it, I'm not that good in the field of woodworking. Even after that, the voltmeter was quite a fit. The potentiometer was a bit loose but it can be solved using hot glue. Then I shortened the shaft, otherwise it would stick far out from the surface. Now with the help of tongue oil, I gave a polish on the whole body using a soft piece of cloth. It is time to move on to the electronic circuitry section. Shoulder the DC output wires from the power supply module. Place a suitable perf board and place it in the holder. Arrange and insert all the components according to the schematic. Remember, one capacitor is electrolytic which means it is polarized. Do try to avoid shoulder bridges as the component connections are pretty close. Then the potentiometer and the voltmeter connections were made. I'm using 14 gauge wire if you're curious. Then I drilled a hole at the back side of the enclosure so that I can feed the mains wire through it. Connect the AC supply to the power supply followed by the switch which is then to be insulated with heat shrink tube. Then the power indicator LED and not to forget the banana plugs. Assemble everything up once you know things are working the way you want it. Place a zip tie at the end of the mains wire so that it won't go out. It is to know that you don't forget to place the heatsink. Glue down the final piece of the enclosure and once the glue is dry, we can say the project is complete. Now let's give it a test. Well, the voltage accuracy is quite near and the circuitry is easy and durable compared to the price. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, don't forget to hit the like button and if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.